Alrighty then, is this recording? Yes, it is. So, hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 350. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo. So, anywho, um, oh my god, my phone, this is embarrassing. Alright, anywho, um, hello and welcome. Um, I'm trying something new because of a comment I saw on the YouTubes, on one of the videos actually, I think about um, 349. And I'm trying this out to see how it goes. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, let's just say I tried. <laughs> so, well, this is new. So, let's head into the news. So, first up in the news is, well, the Season 9 leaks, they're not real. They're not real. So, there's been a lot of things going on where um, screenshot has been posted and whatnot. And... Big Jim Miller, uh, one of the, I think, producer, was it? He tweeted out saying that, uh, for your information, there are some supposed uh, My Little Pony Season 9 leak screenshot floating around out there. I can confirm they're 100% fake. So, <coughs> I haven't heard anything about this until recently, but I am guessing... Uh, they've been up on the 4chans or wherever it is. And looking through the whole thing here, uh, it, it looks legit. Like, it looks real. And I have to say that I'm surprised that people are willing to go this far to make a... Well, how do I even put this? Like, looking at it, it seems so legit. Like uh, this one, if you if if you know how the wording are phrased, like MLP nine zero one, that means like um, My Little Pony season nine episode one. Then, um, but he, here's another thing, like uh, here and here, like uh, I I don't know, some of the timings they're off. Like this one, you you can see here, like the bad guy here is of course thing Twilight. And that's what, about one hour or one minute, 11 seconds and so on. Then uh, here's something f funny or something wholesome. Then you see the girls grouping up together and stuff. Then suddenly you got this guy here. And that's what, one one sixteen, And this is one eleven. A lot of questions are raised by this. So anyway, um, don't worry or theory craft if you want that these screenshots are fake. I got no idea why people want to do that. Maybe for fame and fortune? Who knows? But in all honesty, you're not going to get any fortune. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. But anywho, on to the next news. So, next news is Funko Movie Featuring Ponies? So, while looking through this one, I've Seen that they made a Funko movie called um, Funko uh, Making Fun, the Funko movie, something like that. Like, it's, I think it's a documentary. It rated 6 out of 10 on IMDb. And for this one here, it looks like it's a full fledged movie. Um, enlarging this picture, you get to see um, the characters here. Like, okay, you get to see. Um, Rainbow Dash in the corner here you get to see Pennywise I, I think this is Wonder Woman I think, I'm not 100% sure and then you get to see some other characters, sorry I, I, I don't know most of them, oh you got Vader and Kitty, so yeah but you know, honestly I got no idea how legit because in the article here they mentioned that they're not 100% sure if it's a legit or not uh, this image was found on 4chan and so on and the only news I remember hearing was last year at E3 where Xbox had their Gears of War fun coating. I still haven't seen anything yet. It'll be interesting if it's part of this. Who knows? But as for now, why? Um, I, the appeal of Funko is that they're cute and they're cheap. Honestly, if you 
bought anime figures, you would know how much they cost versus a Funko, which what is it ten dollars? Is it? So, if you're mm, honestly, I have some Funko figures like they're up there, and I'm not really going to take them down and show it to you. Probably I'll do it in a picture somehow. I tweeted something like that, but in all honesty. This could be something interesting. But one thing I do have to bring up is that the licensing, the money that's going out, that's going to be expensive, especially when you're dealing with multiple companies. So what, uh, Vader now is with Disney, and Kitty is with uh, Sanrio, and what, Ponies is now with Hasbro. So you just have to imagine like how much are they going to spend on this. So if it is real... It's going to be very interesting that they're going to spend this much cash. Who knows? Who knows? And that is the news. Uh, let me change this. Uh, yay! So, anyway, um, <coughs> let's go to the next topic. And the next topic is what have been what have I been doing for my week? And in all honesty, I haven't done much. Uh. Chinese New Year is around the corner, and I think by the time that this, uh, let me check my calendar. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the time that this episode comes out, it's going to be on Chinese New Year. So happy Chinese New Year to heavy, <laughs> sorry, uh, happy Chinese New Year to whoever is celebrating it. And right now, everybody is in a holiday mood. Nobody's really doing anything and whatnot. And uh, they're, they're just gonna relax. They're just gonna relax. And as for me, I'm gonna edit this, gonna post this out. It's gonna be interesting how it works because this is new for me. I got no idea how it's gonna work. I do hope that you uh, comment on the video to tell me what you think about it, if you like it or you dislike it, and just feedback. Like, I would really love to know what you guys think about this new format. Um, yeah, what have I been doing in my week? <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I haven't done much. Um, okay. Most of you may know that I play a card game called Magic the Gathering, and I play the Commander format. In fact, um, since I have my camera with me, so here is part of my deck. I play Magic, Commander format, but... That's about it, really. I mean, <laughs> card shop, buy more cards, and that's about it. Hmm. Honestly, no new games. I know Resident Evil 2 came out. Uh, the remake, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. Sorry, not 2, uh, 3. That's been, what, almost 17 years in the making? So, yay, that's wild. And I haven't bought any games. Don't have the money for it. <laughs> But I am planning on getting Devil May Cry 5. That will be coming out in March. So we'll see how that is. But I'm going to assume that I'll have the time to play and edit the show and so on. Balancing. That's really important. Um, also, um, if I'm not mistaken, Daniel Anthony mentioned something special might be coming on the 25th of February. I'm not 100% sure. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, something to do with a party about a show or something like that. Hmm. But anywho, uh, <coughs> that's it. For, <laughs> so anywho, that's it for me. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Please do subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we do have a Facebook page. And you can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also, do subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and... Sorry, that is, I'm, I'm just repeating myself. I mean, um, do review... <laughs> do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there... You'll get to watch, well, you get to hear me, Silver Quill, Sci-Fi Heart Song, and also Torterra, uh, number, number, numbers, talk about 
pony episodes, comics, movies, and other things that take a lot of interest. Uh, one of the few things that we do like to talk about, or well, mostly I like to talk about and make the rest suffer, is the Miraculous Ladybug. I highly enjoy the show, and well, we'll see how they react. Silver always does the greatest reactions. Yay! And well, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous. Oh, boys. Um, i like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Lurker Cat, Jeffrey, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You're great. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sunzo on this very weird episode. Like, I am so not comfortable. <laughs> like, I am out of my <laughs> I am out of my element. So, anywho, um, I'll guess you next week. See ya. <laughs>